Hey guys, Darren here. Welcome to Mayhem Country Living. Hope you guys are doing okay. Hope you guys are doing well wherever it is that you are. I tell you what, it is a Monday morning after a long weekend of working, working, working. And some mornings I can feel my age a lot more than others. But it was a good weekend. We got a lot done around the property. Um, answering a couple of questions that some people had kind of tossed to me. Um, over the weekend, uh, why don't I do a big garden in the front yard? Um, several reasons. Uh, one, one was when we uh, began, my wife and I began looking at property. She said, I don't care what you do, I just want a, I just want a pretty front yard. I said, sounds good. I said, with an exception, we are not going to have one of those perfectly manicured front yards that you pay people to come spray and stuff. I said, we don't do that. And she said, okay, fair enough. So, part of the deal is I took part of the property uh, down one side and the back is uh, for garden chickens orchard and uh, just I guess I guess my play area and the other stays nice and pretty another reason uh, that we have not converted it is if we do something like that I want to begin playing with high tunnels and um, that would be what I would put up in an area like that if I wanted to. I think I could almost get 11 months of growth season out of a high tunnel as opposed to down here, lower Alabama, eight or nine months, which is fantastic. Uh, you, you know, you grow till you're sick of growing. Um, but it helps with your resiliency. Another reason that we don't do that is we are still in the process of uh, more than likely we are going to sell our property and having a big beautiful front yard with a empty pallet if you will attracts someone a lot better than a big old garden. Orchard, fruit trees, it's a lot easier to sell, but having a big garden in the front yard would detract from the sellability of the property. So we're still tear, uh, chewing on that uh, idea of doing it. Um, we'll probably sell in the fall, and we are actually actively looking right now. We want more land. Initially with a smaller house and then we'll build something but we're gonna buy it pay it off and then build as we can because I want to be as debt-free as possible for the next upcoming cycle let's say and I'm watching the road while I'm driving yeah. going up 65 um, so that is, in a nutshell, why I do not have a big old garden. Trust me, one day I'm going to have me about 100 acres of something growing. It won't be soybean, um, but it will be 100 acres or something, and it'll be big enough to walk out in and get lost. That is one of my goals. Um, as it sits right now, I barely have time to take care of uh, the three acres that we have. Um, so it is a juggle and a chore almost to do. So we end up usually having a cutoff time on Sunday afternoons to where we wrap everything up and uh, we clean up, do nothing for an hour or so, and then we uh, 
cook a nice meal out on the grill, something like that. So that is the reason why we don't have a big old garden in the front yard. That and uh, German Shepherds. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm trying to keep this one light. There's a whole lot of doom and gloom and a bunch of crap happening, and it's happened over the weekend with uh, Congress staying in session for its emergency uh, emergency meetings and all that stuff. More crap as usual. Take care, you people.